Hey followers! So I know it's been a long time and I haven't uploaded anything with any sort of regularity for a couple of years now and when I do upload stuff it's without voiceover and for that I am truly deeply sorry. You're all so wonderful for following me and that sounded really cheesy but you guys are and it's amazing that new peeps subscribe to me even though I don't upload new content ever. All of you deserve a mouthful of your favorite candy and a bear hug, so hook up with me telepathically so I can send it to you. Seriously though, thank you so much. It makes me like so unbelievably happy when I see that I still have some sort of following, whether it be here or my Facebook and Instagram, which are equally barren to my YouTube account. Um, it's It really makes me happy and makes me inspired to go and draw and do stuff like that, you know, stuff that artists are supposed to do. Yeah, the past couple of years have been really difficult for me, and I don't really want to go into it very much, since that would be a bit much for my first narrated video, and I'm planning on doing like a, I think it's called like Draw My Life video, or maybe I'll do like Draw My Past Five Years, because if I do Draw My Life, I will probably die while trying to draw that, since I'm slow. Um, but anyways, here's a, a brief summary of what's been going on with me the past couple of years. Um, <clears throat> So the biggest thing, my mom has ovarian cancer and it really sucks balls, not even going to lie. Um, my then fiance, now husband, went off to basic training and technical school, which left me alone for six months to plan a wedding, which I thought, you know, I'm independent and amazing like a cat and I can handle, but I basically turned into a little puddle and it was embarrassing. But then he came back and we got married and it was amazing. Um, cause I didn't see him like until I walked through the doors at where we got married. Like I saw him standing at the altar. It was the first time I'd seen him in six months and it was amazing. Um, so then we got stationed, uh, in Alabama, which was less awesome. It was definitely not for me. I am not about the swamp life. I can tell you that right now. Too hot, too hot and wet. I can't breathe. I'm not a frog. Uh, so after eight months, we got stationed in Washington State so we could be closer to our family, and it's been amazing. Done a lot of awesome things. Um, but all of these things and some other difficulties have made me the victim of a major art block, which has been mostly uh, has been mostly gone lately, and for that I'm pretty grateful. I do try to sketch every day, but a lot of it I don't post. I just, just kind of hide it because my self-esteem gets in the way. I'm like, I'm a terrible artist. <laughs> uh, however, I've found a lot of happiness in my two puppers and my kitties, as well as my awesome husband. It also helps me quite a bit to be able to follow so many amazing artists, like on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, and see like all of the amazing illustrations and sketches and all the stuff they post every day. I've learned so much about myself like through seeing other people and how they handle their art when they're going through an art block or depression. and. Um, just like through my own depression and one thing is how it affects my art so being sad is awesome for my art like when I was a teenager because I had that emotion to put into a piece um, but being depressed has only been a big turd so far depression for me is a lot of emotions like sadness manic happiness sometimes anger frustration and like anxiety it makes it so hard for me to do art that has any like real emotional depth just because I can't keep a handle on my own emotions so how can I you know put them into a, a drawing that's what I'm struggling with so I have a question how many of you have dealt with or currently deal with depression and how does it affect your art do you use art to help with depression or does it pretty much control you like it's been doing to me if this is too personal for you to answer then don't worry about it personally it just helps me to talk about it so, yeah, open discussion in the comments. Um, okay, <laughs> so let's get to the drawing. Uh, I love Steven. I love Steven Universe, not Steven. Uh, I love Steven Universe so freaking much. Like, and that's what this is from. For those of you who may not know, um, but oh, I love it. I don't know why, but I was a little hesitant to get on the bandwagon that follows this show. But after the first episode, I was sold hook, line, and sinker. Everything about this show is so phenomenal that I can't really contain myself. Like, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, 
uh, the music, the characters, the art, the story, everything is wonderful. I, re like, I basically just want to scream with happiness and pure fan mania every time I hear or see anything remotely related to this show or, you know, really to Rebecca Sugar, who is the show's uh, creator. And she also works on Adventure Time, for those of you who don't know. She's responsible for quite a bit of the music that um, the character Marceline sings, and I love that too. So, you know, only good things come out of Steven Universe if you like that. Uh, so uh, this drawing is Sardonyx, who is a fusion of two of the gems. Um, and I decided to do a series of the fusions first, and then to do drawings of the individual gems. So Sam, my husband, loves Sardonyx, so she was first. And I love her. I mean, like, she's so giggly and flashy and flamboyant and uh, just cute. She makes me think a lot of um, uh, Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. Like, it's so, it's so funny. That's immediately what I thought of. But uh, anyways, so I looked up a lot of fan art for Sardonyx to see what people did with her in their own style. And that gave me a lot of ideas and inspiration for her hair and facial structure since she's, you know, based on a rock. So there's not a lot to work with there. <laughs> um, uh, the background is really uber simple and, you know, her poses too. But I'm pretty pleased with it like I may do another series of these guys with different poses or in a different style or something but for now I'm happy like <clears throat> maybe I'll do chibi or something what would you guys like to see if I did something differently like different pose or style or background or whatevs let me know uh, hmm. uh, the blending for the background is much smoother looking in person than it is in the video or the scan but I don't know it is what it is I guess a lot of fun to do the fade from blue to pink, but extremely difficult, especially when I'm working around a character and uh, the stars I put there, because for me and this paper, it's really hard to blend other colors out of the yellow. It's a light color, so it's tricky. Uh, I feel so tired. I haven't done voiceover in a super long time, and it's making me feel all weird. <laughs> um, okay, let's just keep going now. Oh, uh, when I get a few more products together, I'm going to be opening my Etsy store. It's the same name as my channel, uh, Aaron Derek Art, which is my name, and also the name of Facebook, uh, my Facebook and Instagram accounts, in case y'all was interested. And it will have some prints, originals, and things like bookmarks and buttons when I can figure out how to make those a little more quickly. Um, so if you want to buy or commission something before I get the store running, then message me on any of my accounts, although I will be the most responsive on Facebook and Instagram. So keep that in mind. Okay, so and there's a card. I know I've said it before, and I've also said that I was serious those times, but I'm going to do weekly uploads on Wednesdays. Uh, I have a few videos saved up so that I, uh, so I know that I can keep this up for a few weeks at the very least. And I really hope that you guys have faith in me and come by every week to check out the new upload. And unless I film something else that I absolutely have to get to you for whatever reason, then the next few weeks are all going to be Steven Universe. Sorry, not sorry if you aren't a fan. All right, well, <laughs> I really don't have a lot else to say. Um, I might devolve into a screeching puddle of Steven Universe excitement. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. So again, thank you so, so much for being a loyal subscriber if you are one and equally thank you to those who are new. You're all awesome. And without you guys, I would have ditched this biz a while ago because it's been really hard for me to keep up with it. So if you're feeling generous, like, comment, or share this video to help me rise to my rightful seat as queen of YouTube artists. Okay, bye.